good morning from Thomasville, North Carolina. What a ville indeed. This is where Thomas is from, I'm guessing. So we've uh, made two deliveries today already. The time is 11 a.m., so we're doing good. We're on our way to Charlotte, North Carolina right now to make another delivery. Hopefully that will go just as smoothly as these past two. I thought the first delivery was gonna take me all morning. No, oh, they got it off in like an hour and a half. It's awesome. So we got four more stops on this load. We done, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Like I said, depending on how smooth the rest of this day goes. What a day, Diesel. What a day. So we've got all our deliveries off today, just barely, but man, did I have to boogie. Wow. And you just sweat like crazy down here too, right? They got such crazy humidity down here. I'm not complaining, but man, does it make you sweat. Could drink like three gallons of water. Still be dehydrated. So we're headed down to Charleston, South Carolina now for our delivery tomorrow morning. We have two smaller deliveries tomorrow, and then we head over to Atlanta, Georgia area for our next load, which is going up to Ontario. Look at this beautiful South Carolina scenery. I saw a palm tree before. It was at a car dealership. It was a Ford dealership, and you know what? Made me kind of like Ford a little more. Not gonna lie. Still always gonna drive a Chevy. I shouldn't say always, never say always. Still love Chevy more, but the Ford dealership had the palm tree. That's a bonus in my books. I'm sure the Chevy dealerships have them too around here. The trees are so different from up in Manitoba. Like they're still trees, right? They, they, they grow up, have wood and bark and leaves and needles and stuff but they're, they're different kinds like these these spruces or whatever these are on the right here are those evergreens like what we don't have any of those up north that's like a southern tree and everything is so big because they have such a long growing season down here i'm so glad i got that last delivery off my truck that was close i got there just as they were about to close up and i was, convinced them to uh, accept my delivery yet by asking really nicely and offering to do all the work myself so I unloaded the truck myself while they cleaned up and got ready to close that was nice so now I can go all the way down here to South Carolina and got two more easy drops tomorrow all these drops are on pallets whereas the rest of the drops that I have had are uh, like hand bombed like on the floor big heavy boxes these are on pallets for some reason. These customers are apparently special. They get pallets. I'm sure it's because they pay a little more shekels. I'm pretty sure that's that's why they uh, get the easy freight. All they gotta do is just roll it off instead of carry it off one at a time. But hey, a few extra pennies gets you a long way. Gets you pallets. 
So we'll get those two off, and then I already told you, right? We're going to uh, Atlanta, Georgia for tomorrow night, where we'll uh, drop this empty and pick up a loaded trailer, head up to Keswick, Ontario, where we went last time. That's the place where uh, I just gotta sit in my truck while they unload the trailer. So at least I can look forward to a good nap while I'm being unloaded. That's fantastic, I like that. Well, for me, what's this? Entrance, what does that say? Auto entrance. I thought that said ATM and there's palm trees at this pilot. It's We're staying, Turn left on. quiet Karen, this is important. We're staying at a pilot with palm trees tonight. Oh, it's gonna be a good night. I wish we could have a few days off, have a party with the palm trees. There's palm trees, there's a bunch of them. Diesel, you wanna pee on a palm tree tonight? You can have your very own palm tree. At my very own name. <laughs> In one kilometer, turn left on Sparrow Road. Look at that, look at that, palm trees, palm trees. Diesel, I don't know if I'm gonna let you pee on those palm trees, those are sacred. Those are sacred trees. Okay, Trucker Path said that there was some parking spots available here yet. Don't disappoint me, Trucker Path. Oh, there is one right there. Right there. Okay, but I gotta go turn around. It's right here beside this Freightliner with his, uh, his lights on there. There's a spot right in there. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Or somebody else does. Is there any more here? This could probably be made into a parking spot right here. Oh, there's more at the back here. Oh. All right, trucker path. All right. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna park back here then. Right in beside the car hauler and the tanker. Notice how neither of them have a reefer. <laughs> Nothing against reefers. I know some of you haul reefers. Just if I have a choice, I won't park beside you for night. If I don't have a choice, well, I'll deal with it. Alright, Dizzy, stay down. Let's back up. Oh, my hair is all over. I need a haircut so bad. I've literally been too busy for a haircut. It's true. All right, let's tell the world that uh, we're here. Well, I'm telling the world here. I gotta tell the load gods over here that I am finished for the night. One second here, bear with me. One second, one second. One more second, one more second. Five more seconds. Three more seconds. That's one hour and ten minutes of remaining drive time. No, we are stopping. Boom, officially done. Actually, we're not officially done. You know what? It means we're officially done? Pulling the trailer brakes. There they go. That's the red one. Usually, like a lot of people, if you just park temporarily, you just pull the yellow one, just that locks the truck brakes, right? But for night, I lock all the brakes because I'm paranoid of the truck rolling away while I'm sleeping. It's never happened yet. So far, every time I've gone to bed, I've woken up in the exact same spot. But just in case, I lock everything up. And uh, I guess I should put a hat on. Oh, oh, oh. This hat isn't too offensive, is it? Secret service. It's a secret. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna get a good sleep. I think I'll be here for, oh, it's 8.30 here now. I'm still an hour away. I'll be here about 12 hours. And they're expecting me around 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna go there a little earlier, see if they can unload me. Cause it's on pallets, it'll take five minutes to unload me. So I'll show up there earlier and see if they can get me unloaded. Then I can run back up to Wilmington, North Carolina, unload there, clean up my trailer, sweep it out, drag it on over to Atlanta, drop it, grab a loaded one, and bust it up to Ontario, Keswick, Ontario. That's north of Toronto. 
around a little, what is that, east of Barrie, Ontario, in that region there. Should be fun. Diesel, everyone wants to see more of you. More of me, man. Hi, guys. Uh, put me on the spot again. It was a good day. I had a good nap. Uh, morning nap, afternoon nap. Went for a run for a little bit. It was fun. Just thinking about it makes my ears go up. It was a run. Did we go for a walk? Well, now we have to go for another one. Oh boy. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go for a walk? I don't know, you're not convincing, man. <laughs> oh no, and it is just cold enough here that my truck won't idle. So that means it's gonna be a hot night. Hot and, ugh. I'm a true Canadian through and through. I cannot sleep when I'm warm. I have to be sleeping in an ice box, like a little igloo for me to get a good comfortable sleep. Britt is the same way as me. My wife, for those of you who don't know, uh, when we're at home, we have our bedroom. We sleep in a smaller bedroom with a, its own air conditioner in the window, with the door closed, with the air conditioner blasting on high all night. We wake up as popsicles and it's wonderful. That's how we both get the best sleep. I sleep great in wintertime. I don't sleep as good in summertime. It's too hot. I'm a Canadian. I melt in the heat. I'm like a snowman. You too, Diesel. You don't like the heat either, I know. But it is what it is, so... Thanks for joining me. I hope you join me tomorrow. Can't believe there's palm trees here. A whole bunch of them. Look, look. More palm trees. <laughs> you want to know how, how much I love palm trees? All of you uh, new viewers who don't know me that well yet, how much do I love palm trees? What do palm trees represent to me? They represent to me good weather, sunshine, beaches, vacation, fun times, not working, holidays. That's what palm trees mean to me. And to remind myself how much I want to go on holiday and save up, I can, ow, <laughs> I can never forget. It's not finished yet, but. Britt and I got matching tattoos like this on our honeymoon. She got it on her leg. The big ones uh, represents me because I'm taller than her and she's really short, so she represents the short one. So instead of getting each other's names tattooed on each other, we did uh, palm trees to represent each other. That's my uh, my wedding tattoo, or uh, it was a honeymoon, honeymoon tattoo. I want to finish it off yet, and I want to get Diesel on, on there somewhere yet too. It's gonna be great. There's palm trees here, Diesel, real ones. Not even the fake ones like they have up in Canada. Real ones. I'm so excited, man. I'm bursting with excitement. I can tell. I know, you won't even blink. Oh, maybe once. I'm not gonna let you mark them, man. Those are sacred trees. Only I can mark those ones.